бүрцүүгөр ерөөсөө аг амсгаагүй баг чөлөөтэйч амсгалах завгүй маш эрчтэй өгсүүд одоо маш хүчтэй бас одоо засар зайгүй тунхаглагдсан тийм өдрүүд байлаа тэр маш баяртай байна а аюун бодлоч гэсэн маш их тийлсэн а зүрх сэтгэл дотрох хэмжүүрүүд бас их гүнлөө явлаа бид нар тэгээд энд байгаагүй хүмүүс нь бол мэдээж youtube дээр бид нар тавин бичлэгээ тэгээд youtube дээр бичлэг тавьдан гут та нар маань сонсоог нь сонсоод сонсон нь мэдээж дахиж сонсох хэрэгтэй ах тэгээд би бол өөрөө орой болгоно нөгөө сургалт уусны дараа гэрт очиод унтахта одоо эргээд юу ярьсны бүгдийг нэхэн сэргээж одоо бодож байсан тэгээд үнэхээр чухал зүйл яригдлаа яах ч арга байхгүй жирийн христ ч байна гэдэг бол үнэхээр хангалтгүй жирийн христ ч тэд зориулсан цаг бол энэ цаг багтус биш энэ цаг бол үнэхээр хөвгүү тогтуудын цаг бурхны хөвгүү тогтууд а бурхны өргөөних нь өөрөөх цаг зүгээр сүм байх ч хангалттай биш зүгээр нэг христд итгээд сүмд явдаг байх ч хангалттай биш тийм чухал цаг болсон юм байна а тэгээд бид нар нөгөө болрогийн эмнэлэг дээр очиход болроо бас хэлжсэн энэ цаг юу нэ айгүй өөр болоод байна би бүр мэдрээд энэ бүр үнэхээр нэг л одоо тийм айгүй тийм шаргуу цаг ирсэн байна тэгэхээр яа харахгүй цаг бол айгүй шаргуу болж байна түүнчд нь нөгөө цаг шаргуу болж байгаагийн цаатлт юу явагдаж байна гэхээр сүнсний ертөнц дүүс өөрөө хөдөлгөө маш итгэхтэй шаргуу хөдөлж байна Тэ тэгэхээр зэрэг тэрэг бид нар сүнсний өртөнцтэйгээ хөдөлгөөнийг сонсож харахын сураагүй байгаа бол одоо энэ илэрч гарч ирж байгаа энэ илэрсэн үдтэй энэ шаргуу нэг байнгын төлөхсөн одоо байнгын одоо биднийг сонгосон те ер нь биднийг нэг хүлэхгүй байгаа юм шиг юусан ерөөсөө баргалтай авбал авсан чинь дээр шүү ерөөсөө гэдэг те нэг тийм одоо 2 3 жилийн өмнө шүү дээ гэж биднийг хүлээгээл бид нэг ингээл тавлаа тухлаа л гэдэг тэр цаг бол үнэхээр биш болчихжээ. Яхаас би бодход энэ бол зөвхөн монголд биш. Хаа сайгүй дэлхийн үндс болон бүрт үндэстэн үрт юм шаргуу байдаг ч тэ мэдрэгдэж байна гэж би бодож байгаа. Тэгээд аврал маань одоо миний бодход бол маш ингийн аврал хэр өөр ангийн айгүй том юм шиг байдаг шүү дээ. Мэдээж том юм. Гэтэе саяын өдрүүдэд бол яг тэр голт зүрхийг нь бид нарт гаргаж ирээд байгаа. Бариулчихсан шүү дээ тий. Бид нар яагаад өөрчлөлтөд гэн яагаад тэгвэл зүгт байдлыг хүч чадал бидний дотор амьдрдаг учраас тэр хүч чинь бидний ерөөс зүгээр суулгахгүй ингээд байнгын ажилласаад тий. Тэгээд дүүргээд тэгээд зүгт болсыг бид нар өөрөө ирэхгүй үзий ядхал хүрээд байгаа хэрэг. Тэгм учраас аврлын хүч одоо тий сайн мэдээний хүч өөрөө авардаг хүчтэй аврлын хүч чи өөрөө бидний зүгт байлгадаг хүч чадтай юм байна гэдэг бид нар харсан байгаа. За тэгээд би өшөө олон юм уршмаргүй өнөөдөр бол сүүл өдрөө байгаа. Тэгээд өчигдөр бид нар салхинд гарсан. Тэгээд аль болохоор их сайхан өдөр байсан. Тэгээд бид нар аль болохоор сайхан үзүүл хийчихсэн. Тэгээд сантай модтой бүгдийг л үзэх шиг дээ. Тэгээд хотын төвжөрлөл мөвжлөлт тэгээд тоос шороо удаа юм яраас болоо. Тэгээд зүмөр босыг төхөө бурхан талрах юм. Түүний хийж байгаа ажлууд тэгээ бас тэр биднүүсийг чирээд дахихгүй харин өнгөрсөн он жилүүд он саруудын туршид тэр бидний ход хурдыг ааж маажмаар нэмэгдүүлж өөртөө жиг далхад бидийг сургаж байсан. Үнэхээр талархаж байна. Тэгээ бид нар ингээд түүнд хөтлүүлээд алхаж авах та чиргэдэд байхгүй бүдэр ч унахгүй жоохон өгдөг чиг уулгинаад байхгүй а харин ч яг том басан гүгүү тогтуул чиг түнтэйгээ аавтгаа тийм ээ Есүс Христтэй алхаагаа нийлүүлээд ингээд чигд урагшилж ма хара Есүс Христ Иерусалим руу алхахта харцсан Иерусалим дээр баттай тогтсон байсан маш нухацтай тэр өөрөөх сүлчин гүцэлтэл ажлыг харж исэн түүнчлэн өнөөдөр бид нар эцсийн цагт амьдэрж байгаа бид нар бүхий л хараага маш нухацтайгаар бурхны хөдөлгөөн бүр дээр нихуур 
тогтох хэрэгтэй юм. Тэгээ мэдээж бид нь тусан гэдэгт баттдаж байна. Хайр таава. Сүм бүхлээрээ таны өмнө ирж байна. Танд талархаж байна. Тэгээ бид нар танд махтаалыг өргөж байна. Бид нар танд хүндэлсийг өргөж байна. Бид нар таныг бишэрж байна. Бид нар таныг танаас гүнээ имэмэ имэж байна. Имэх хүмүүс имэх болтго. Түүний гэсэн бэ гэдгийг танд хүн таних болтго. Харт хүмүүс нүдний хараа нээлт болтго. Сонсгүйгийнх нь шихэн онгой болтго. Зүгс бүхээр тань руу бүрэн нээгдсэн байх болтгой таныга махтэй таныга бас хүмүүсийг хэдэр дуу хоолойгоо өргөөд бүхий хүчээр бүхий оюунаар бүхий бодлуудаар бүхий зүрхээр байгаа бүхнээр танда махтаалыг өргөж байна тэр сүнс маа үнээр таныга махтаж байна тани тани хэм болсон бид нар махтаж байна бид нар зөвхөн танаас юм гордсон биш ээ бид нар зөвхөн сайн мэдээний ашгийн гэрэлгийг хийчих биш харин бид нар сайн мэдээний хүч чадал гэдэгтэй бид нар таны аврагын хүч биднийг дүүрэгтэй зөв байдлыг хүч чадал гэдэг тийм аа тийм учраас зөвдийн бурхан таны бид нар махтаж байна зөвдийн бурхан таны синтез бол зөвд байдаг юм аа таны синтез бол шудрах явц юм аа та энэ үндэс нь яг их гүүгээр орж ирнэ гэдэг үг ч байна халлелуя тэгээ хатгалыг өргөж байна бүх алтар бүх махтаалын танд болохгүй гэж би эхний Есүс Христийн нэг гэж байна амин good afternoon sorry man oh you dear ones good to see all of you эх хүмүүс мине харахта баяртай шүү man i heard that Your election is over. That's how good those things are. Yeah, yeah. Those who won and those who lost. Yeah, I think they're all in charge. Yeah, in charge. Yeah, they're in charge. I know that uh, that uh, the party that uh, should uh, elect. Uh, voted one за сутаг ин нам нь яасан гин I don't know I don't know who what party and who the person is би ян мэдэхгүй л дээ ямар намж байгаа дараа энэ чиний төлөө сайн мэдэхгүй I just uh, I just greeted Toya за Toya дараа сайн мэдсэн байгаа I know she lost Toya man Toya харангүй So but rejoice that the purposes of God will go on. Харин бурхны төлөвлөгөөнүүд нь үргэлжилж байгаа зүгээр баярлсан. Амин. And there the will and the works of God will not cease. Хэзээ ч бурхны ажил ба төлөвлөгөөнүүд нь хүссэн зогсдгоо ма алга болдгүй. Because uh, is will far exceed everything that is uh, in our human realm. Хүний ертөнц болдог бүх зүйлсийг харин ч бүр дэдгээр нь хамаагүй давж гардаг. And uh, so kingdoms have come and empires have come. Тэгээ мэдээж хэрэг хаанчлууд ирдэг байгаа засгалууд ирдэг. And uh, they have come and they have also gone. Тэгээ мэдээж ирсэн бол бас явдаг байгаа засгалууд. The God is only committed to his own will on the earth. Харин бурхан өөрийнхөө ганцд хэлхи зориулсан хүсэл туршдаа өшөгдөг. And uh, I know that uh, we're too, not too far away from uh, December the 25th we celebrate Christmas I suppose. За утгагүй хоёрдоо 12 сарын 25-нд Christmas гэдэг нь тэмдэглэн тийм ээ. And it's always the time where we always call the scripture where the angels announce concerning Jesus coming. Гэтэр үеэр бид нар те тэнгэр элчнэр Есүс Христийн төрөлтийг ирэлтийг одоо зарлаж байгаа тухай уншдаг. The message of the angels to the shepherds of Israel on that day was was uh, rejoice. Гэтэр өдөр баярлагтай юм гэж одоо хончд дээр үржээ тэнгэр элчнэр Есүс Христийн тухай ярьдаг зарлаг. All right, then the good will to all men. Бүх хүмүүс сайн хүсэн байх болтгой. Let tidings and good will to all men. Сайн мэдээ болоод бүх сайн сайхан бүх хүмүүс оч гээд тэр тэнгэр элчнэр зарлдаг. And uh, we will we will never be good. Тэ бид нар бол хизээч сайн байж чадахгүй. Our lives will never be good. Бидний амьдрал хизээч сайжрахгүй байна. 
The world will never be good. Society will never be good. Until the will of men is subjected to the will of God. So the coming of Jesus Christ is indeed good will to all men. The coming of Jesus is good news. But he will only be good to us on the basis of one thing. And that's what his coming was all about. That the will of men will be brought under the reign of the will of God. Amen. Amen. And so the, do not be afraid when things change in the nations. Power will come and power will go. And uh, the powers of men are only, are only fleeting. In other words, they're temporary. But God is committed to establishing his will in the nations of the world. And it will cost God so much to the end that he has to bring a new heaven and a new earth. Which means this all earth and the heavens is going to pass away. Because how absolute is the will of God is seen by the fact that it takes a new heaven and a new earth to see the will of God fulfilled. So from now until that time, there's a conflict. That's, there's, there's a battle between our will and the will of God. It takes a long time for our will to be submitted to the will of God. It takes, in fact, our entire lifetime to understand that will that came from heaven. That's why Jesus make it to be a prayer for the church for all for all times and for all history. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done. Because that is uh, that is the fallen will that is in us, the sinful will that is in us. Our will that has been so damaged and ruined by sin. So the salvation of Jesus in our lives is the conquest of our will. Amen. Amen. And this is our lifelong lesson until we see God face to face. Amen. Amen. And uh, once again, uh, I want to thank uh, both the pastor, Buggy, and Sud, and the church uh, for hosting us, myself, uh, Eugene, my son, and of course, Mark. Uh, and most of you remember Mark, who was here last year. And of course, some of you uh, will still remember Eugene. Five years ago, he was here with his wife, Eunice. And, uh, all right. So when he came five years ago, he had only one child. And today, 
is fruitful and he multiply his got two more that makes it three. Таван жилийн өмнө нэг хүнтэй байсан бол одоо өнөөдөр өрчсөн байгаад байгаа тэгээ дахиад нэмж хоёр үгэд гаргасан тэгээ хүнтэй хүнтэй бас come out because uh, you know for the last five years he has been husbanding he has been fathering uh, he has been caught up with his work and raising the family uh, it's not easy гэ таван жил бас үнэхээр амаргүй байсан хүүгийн хувьд одоо тэ нөхөр байх аа байх ажлаа хийх одоо тэгэр бүлээ авч явах гэдэг тэ тэрний дараа ингээ гар хүрээд ирсэн тэгэхээр сайхан байна so he has come up <laughs> yes <laughs> right. so he has come away to encourage the body of christ And, uh, and I suppose that in coming out to encourage the saints, uh, he himself will be also be encouraged. So thank you so much for for uh, hosting us and giving us the hospitality. And uh, thankful that they took us out. Yesterday was a kind of a free day. We went all the way. I don't know what's the name of the place, but we're supposed to see the dune, right? Eh? Hustak. 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 <laughs> All right, we went to Hustak. 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 Then how is it pronounced? All right, so we enjoyed the scenery. We went there, you know, it took us three hours to come back. <laughs> Four hours, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, traffic jam was, was, was very bad. <laughs> Praise God. And, uh, I want to invite you this morning and we have been on this theme and I want to conclude the theme here by going back to Psalms 97 which we never really got to read through the entire psalm. So we did go өнгөрсөн өдрүүдэд ярьжсэн зүйлээ дүгнэж бацаад өнөөдөр дуусал 97 бас Those, yeah, those who were here for the first three days of uh, our meetings together, uh, we have been here in this particular psalm using it as the basis of our read of our Uh, of our theme together. Тэнд байгаагүй хүмүүс одоо хэлэхэд дуулал 97 бол бидэнд үндсэндээ ярих одоо тэр дэвсгэр маань суур маань болж өгчихсэн байна. But uh, this morning I want to conclude by having to finish this entire psalm here in Psalms 97. За тэгээ дуулал 97-ыг эц 97. 97-ыг би өнөөдөр бол ямар ч хэсэг дуусах хэрэг болно. Now I want to once again to reiterate I want to repeat the statement that I opened on the first session. За би анхны өдөр хэлжсэн одоо тэр тутамхгаа бас дахиад хэлмээр байна. I think it bear repeating the reason is because we keep forgetting. Би тэр мартаа дэдэг учраас давтан тунх гэсэн үнэхэр ч бохос юм. And uh, this is not just because I'm here in Mongolia that I'm I'm saying this I've been saying this Uh, in the countries that I've been traveling to. And uh, I've been repeating this not only just to believers but even to pastors and leaders of the church. Once we get the gospel wrong, Let's say again, once we get the gospel wrong, then soon every aspect of our Christian life and our Christian faith will go wrong. I want to repeat the statement again that once we get the gospel wrong, then soon every aspect of our Christian life and the faith is going to go wrong. So we're not supposed to get the gospel wrong. But the, but the fact is, in the last 2,000 years, The history of the church is marked with the history of getting the gospel wrong. Харамсалтай нь өнгөрсөн 2000 жилийн түүх сүмийн түүх нь өөрөө бидэнд сайн мэдээ аль хэзээ буруу ойлгогдсон гэдгийг харуулж байна. And so absolute is the, is the gospel that there is no middle ground, no a little bit left, no a little bit right. 
There is no such thing. It's not, it's not an option, it's not a choice, it's not something that you can, uh, we wait, you know, because time changes. So the gospel, many, many years, many centuries ago, maybe like this to those people, but now this is 21st century, so the gospel should change a little bit for our modern time. And God has ordained that the gospel will never change from time to all eternity. It will not change for all culture. It will not change in any human race. It will not change in any kind of human condition. It will not change because, you know, there's a particular or specific uh, uniqueness about a certain people. I had a question one day that said, in Africa, there's some of the chief, the chief of the tribe in Africa, they have got 27 wives. I'm trying to live with one for the last 40 years. <laughs> and even that is not easy. I don't know how a man can live with 27 wives. <laughs> and this was a question posed to me. What will you do when you go to that part of Africa and this chief comes to hear the gospel? I say, if he hears, if he hears the gospel, if he's convicted of his sin, if the reality of Jesus Christ is revealed in his heart, he will know immediately what he has done. He will repent and he will obey the word of the Lord. He will follow the commandments of Jesus and he has to arrange to remove all the wives and live with the one wife, the first wife. What happened to the 26? How would I know? <laughs> Are there going to be consequences? Yes. Are there going to be fights? Are there going to be confusion? Are there going to be conflicts? Are there going to be, are going to be out, 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 uh, outbursts of anger? Will he even lose his position in the tribe as the chief of the tribe? I don't know. But if he knows the gospel of Jesus Christ in his life, the gospel is not going to change. The gospel is not going to adapt to the culture of that tribe in Africa. And he has to come under the submission of uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. So this was a question asked to me. Uh, many years ago. So the gospel will not change. So how important it is for the church to understand this gospel. Because it's under attack. It's been compromised. We have now 
We have now disobeyed the word of the living God. We have misread the gospel. Willfully. Blindly. And being deceived. And so our time together is once again having to address the issue of the gospel. So we found out in the scripture it was revealed to us it was revealed to the apostles to the apostle Paul what this gospel is. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16 and 17. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God. For salvation. So the gospel is going to be the power of God for our salvation. What is that power that will save us? What is that power that God puts in the gospel? Paul said, it's the righteousness of God. The power of the gospel is the power of righteousness. It's the power of God's righteousness. So that was the very foundation of the church of Jesus Christ. That's where the church began. That's what, that's where the head of the church laid the foundation for the church, for the body. It's the foundation of the church. It's the charter of the church. It, it is what makes the church the church. And our lifelong understanding. I say lifelong. Not just one day. Not one week. Not one month. Not one year. Not five years. Not even 20 years. Our lifelong. Our lifelong pursuit. Our lifelong understanding. Our lifelong hunger and thirst. Is this righteousness? In fact, it is this righteousness that rules and guards everything in this church. It is this righteousness that judge and lights everything that is in the church. In fact, it is this righteousness that form and built the church. And the moment when we lose that righteousness, once we leave that righteousness, once we have no understanding of that righteousness, once we don't seek that righteousness, it's only a matter of time. The church will become something else. We can keep the appearance. We keep our songs and our keyboards. We can keep our, we can keep our, our physical appearance. We can keep our activities. We can hold on to our finances and our money. You can even keep the doctrines and your theology. But it's no longer the church anymore. It's, it's no longer the candlestick that Jesus saw in the book of the Revelation. 
Because it's a candlestick that has got no more lights anymore. What's the use of having a candlestick that doesn't function as a candlestick anymore? That's why Jesus forewarned to the churches in, uh, in the Revelation that they will be removed. God has removed. God has removed churches. Historically. God has removed the church in nations of the world. The, the buildings are there. The cathedrals are there. There's no longer a church anymore. It's a religion. So, Psalms 97 in the Psalms give us a view give us a glimpse of how this righteousness look like. And it's given to the children of Israel to understand that Jesus hasn't come yet. But the gospel was already hidden in the Old Testament. And from time, and from time to time, facets of the gospel will start to flesh and show itself all through the Old Testament. Because that's the heart of God. Because, he, because he's, he, he's waiting... He's waiting for the final giving of the gospel in Jesus Christ. But the nature in him is one that gives. Once the wants to save, wants to redeem. And Israel's story in the Old Testament is a story of constant failure and rebellion and disobedience before God. So God in his mercy will begin to show his saving knowledge, his saving revelation. And so perfect example here is Psalm 97. So if you open the Psalm 97, all right, I'm going to read in English. I know that this is being recorded. So they all together 12 verses. And the song I'm going to read in English and then followed by uh, I dear sister Sue to read it after that. Yahweh reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastmen be glad. Cloud and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and he burns up his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of Yahweh, at the presence of the Lord of all the earth. The heavens declare his righteousness and all the peoples see his glory. I mean, verse seven, let all those be ashamed who serve graven images, who bows of idols, worship him, all you gods. Zion heard this and was glad. And the daughters of Judah have rejoiced because of your judgments, O Yahweh. For you are Yahweh most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. I mean, verse 10, hate evil, you who love Yahweh, who keeps the souls of his holy ones. 
He delivers them from the hand of the wicked, like a psalm for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Be glad in Yahweh, you righteous ones, and give thanks for the remembrance of his holy name. Эдсэн захирдаг газар дэлхий баяртагтуу олон арлуудч баярлагтан үүс ба төнөр харанхуу түүнийг хүрээлдэг зөв шударга ба шударга ёсвол түүний сэнтийн зөвт байдлаа шударга ёсвол түүний сэнтийн суур юм түүний өмнө галгарч эргэн тойронд түүний өснүүдийг шатаадаг түүний аянга захилгаан ертөнцийг гэрэлтүүлдэг газар дэлхий хараад чичэрдэг бүх дэлхийн дэлхий эдсний өмнө буюу эдсний өмнө уулс Саны тос шиг хайлдаг. Тэнгэрүүд түүний зөвт байдлыг тунхгалдаг бөгөөд бүх хүмүүс түүний цог жавхлан харсан юм аа. Сэлмэл хөргүүдэд үйлчилдэг, шүтэй нүдээр бардамдаг бүх хүмүүс ич болтгоо. Бүх бурхтаа түүнд мөргөхтөө өө эзэн таны шүлтүүдээс болж сион сонсоод баярлаж Юудагийн охид баяссан. Учран таа бол бүх дэлхийн дээр хамгийн дээд эзэн юм аа. Та бүх бурхтаас хавигүй дээгүр өргөмжлөгдсөн. Өөрийн бурханлаг хүмүүсийн сэтгэлийг хамгаалдаг эзнийг хайрлагч та нар буцар мөг үзэн яад тэр тэднийг 20 20 мөг хүний гараа савардаг. Зөв шударга хүний төлөө гэрэл, шулуун шударга зүрхтэй хүний төлөө баяр хөөр тарихцаа. Зөв шударга та нар эзэнд баярлаж түүний ариун нэр талархагтуу. Амин. Амин. In verse 1. За дээр Yahweh reigns. Яваа захирдаг юм аа гэж. So the word reign there. За захирдаг гэдэг үг нь it simply means that God has come to assume his kingship. Тэр захирдаг гэдэг нь тэр ирээд өөрөө одоо хаанчлаа байгуулаад хаанаа байна л гэсэн шүү дээ. So when you see the word reigns in the Old Testament. Тэр та хуучин гэрэнд захирдаг гэдэг үг их хараад in the Psalms. Дуусуудад The Jews understand that. You did you those the enemy must have heard it. Children of Israel understand that. It's not the word in Ugi's hand. All the king of Israel and Judah understand that. You take it's not the heart of in Ugi Yamar of the Oscar Gajat. All the prophets of the Old Testament understand that. Ochen gireni shu zu sechnar bugat in Ugi Gajat. All the priests of Israel understand that. It's not the takichnach Ugi Gajat. So when they hear the word Yahweh reigns. In other words, God has assumed kingship. Бурхан өөрийнхөө хаант засгалыг ярьж байна гэдэг мэддэг. So he has come to establish his kingship. Өөрөөр хэлбэл тэрэр үрж ирээд өөрийнхөө хаант улсыг байгуулах юм байна гэж. He has come to demand for a kingdom. He has come to put in place a kingdom. Тэр хаанчлаа байрлуулах юм байна, хаанчлаа тогтоох юм аа гэдэг дээр тэр шууд ойлгодог, ойлгодог гэсэн. Энэ бол тушаал бурхны. Now that's the difference between holiness and righteousness. Тэр ариун байдал болоод зүвт байдлын хооронд ялгаа байдаг гэнэ. Holiness is the infinite nature of God. Ариун байдал нь бурхны тэр нэг дуусчихгүй мөнхийн чанар. But when that holiness comes forth from him. Түүнээс энэ ариун байдал гарч ирэхэд and begins to involve with human life. Үсэн амьдралуудыг эзэлж эхэлэх. And involves with human creation. Хүний бүтээл өдрөө ороод эзэлж эхэлэх. And with all of God's creation of the world. Бүх дэлхийн бурхны бүтээсэн бүтээл өдрөө орж эхэлэх. When that holiness begins to come in contact with human history. Хүний түүхтэй энэ ариун байдал нь одоо авцалдаж эхэлэхэд ариун байдал энд хүрч эхэлэх. What our human life Хүний амьдралд хүрч эхэлэхэд ариун байдал. God has one intention. Бурханд нэг л зүтгэл байдаг энд. It's going to be turned into a righteous reality. Тэр бурхан өөрөө тэр бүх байдлыг ариун бодит байдал гэж шивч зүвт байдлын бодит байдал болгож holiness comes to our human front. Ариун байдал бидний амьдралд дээр ирэхэд it becomes the righteousness of God. Бурхны зүвт байдал болж хөвдөг гинэ. You got the point? is when god begins to share his holiness with our lives бурхан бидний амьдралд өөрийнхөө ариун байдлыг одоо тусгаж хуваалцаж эхэлэхэд when his holiness begins to impact our human nature and human life хүний мөн чанарт хүний амьдралд ариун байдал маш хүчтэй нөлөөлж одоо 
Righteousness comes to us. Righteousness becomes our experience. Righteousness becomes righteousness becomes the witness of God's reign in our lives. The kingship of God is activated in our human lives. You see that now? Did you see what the gospel is? Did you see the intention of the gospel? Did you see why now Paul understand that the gospel is the power of righteousness? The gospel is not about making you more handsome, more money, and more cars, and more fortunes, and more, uh, uh, what do you call the, the more everything. The gospel is not centered around your life. The gospel is not about your welfare. The gospel is what God wants. The gospel is God's will. The gospel is God's kingdom. The, the gospel is God's mind and God's eternal purpose. You got the point there? You know, many years ago in China, there was a spiritual man by the name of Watchman Nee. You probably were heard of him here in Mongolia in the church here. And he uh, was, was a wonderful servant of the Lord. He was raised by he was raised by the Lord in China at the time of the beginning of uh, communism under Mao Zedong. And he said this to the church in China. He said, good is not always the will of God. You see, so many of us seem to think that because of the gospel, everything about my life must be good. Good is not always the will of God. God told the prophets to tell Israel, you're going to be in captivity in Babylon for 70 years. And many of the Jews didn't want to go. Even the false prophets told the Jews, don't go. Even if you go, Two years, you come back. And Jeremiah and Isaiah say, no, 70 years. But 70 years is a long time. We will lose Jerusalem. We lose everything. We lose our land. We will be in a foreign land in Babylon. And Jeremiah said, you are going to be in Babylon. And you will be there for 70 years. Go there. Settle down. Build your house. Build your house. Get, get married. Raise your family. Have sons and have daughters. But the Jews say, but that's not good. But that's my will. Good is not always the will. But the will of God is always good. Did 
Did you just hear that? Good. It's not always the will of God. But the will of God is always good. And the will of God was 70 years. And it was good in the end. And God even promised the good that will come out of it. The gospel is not about everything that is about us. There's so here in Psalms 97. He says that Yahweh reigns. He said, let the earth rejoice. The earth can only rejoice when God assumes his kingship. Earth cannot rejoice. None of us here can rejoice over anything here in this earth except God's reign here in this earth. So I know that during the election they kept all the vodka away in the restaurant. Because there's a lot of rejoicing in Ulaanbaatar who won and who lost. We like to rejoice in our leaders and our presidents and our prime ministers and our king and our government and our nation. But that's not the ultimate rejoicing. The ultimate rejoicings of the earth is when God reigns. And then comes the remaining of the verses that is so precious and so full of the wisdom of God. Let many coastlands be glad. You know coastland, isn't it? Coastland is the land in which it's separated from the sea or from the oceans. Let all of, let all of the coastlands let all of the coastmen rejoice. Now it's almost as if the God, what are you talking here? Then the next verse, in verse 2, is even uh, more mysterious. He says, clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Cloud and thick darkness is all around him. So here the language is is being now nature is being used by the psalmist to to show something to teach something. When you see clouds and thick darkness, what do you expect? What's, 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 what do you expect from cloud and thick darkness? What's behind cloud and thick darkness? Because the scriptures here say cloud and thick darkness surrounds him. It surrounds God. It surrounds the God who says in the next verse, righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. 
хүний сорин зүв байдал болоод шудрах ёс юм аа гэж хэлж байгаа тэр бурхныг үүс болоод түнэр харах уу хүрээ. So the picture is That is in зург өөрөө юу гэж хэлж байгаа. This is the way in which human have to use words to describe what is in God. Юу бурхан гэж яг юу басхыг хүн өөрөө хэлээр дүрслэгтэй тэр байгалийн зург асуудыг ашиглаад What is this righteousness of Yahweh looks like? Эзний зүв байдал яг юм яаж харагддаг юм бол It's like an as if the God used clouds and thick darkness to enshroud righteousness in other words you can't see it өөрөөр хэлбэл ингэ ч штэ үүс болоо түнэр харанху ингээд түүний хүрээлцэн байна гэдэг чинь та зүгт байдлыг зүгт байдал бол зүгээр ингээд бидэнд бүлтийг ингээд өөдөс хараад идэг юм биш байгаа хөө заавал урдуур нь тэр одоо үүс ба түнэр харанху ингээд хасгалаа тийм штэ and when you stand on the coast man of any 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 land any country when you stand on the coast on the beach for instance and right there before you is the sea or the ocean and that's exactly sometimes you can see all of these thick clouds and darkness on the horizon How many of you know that once you see cloud like this and thick darkness, you know when you stand on the coastline, what's coming? It's going to come here. It's going to make landfall. It's going to come to the land. It's going to invade. It's going to be blown right to us, our our uh, our human civilization. Got the point there? And from time to time when you by the time when you see clouds and darkness what do you see you see thunder You see lightning So what does that say? It's a warning. It's a sign. It is right before it's right before our human face. It's right before the it's right before the population of the nation. It is to say to you that it is imminent. He's just behind the clouds and the thick darkness. In other words, the psalmist says, God will not hold back. Бурхан бол ингээ бид нарсаа ойртож ирчихсэн болно гэж байна. He's not going to just enshroud in clouds and thick darkness. He will come to you. Тэр яадагч байсан үүс бол түнэр харанхуугаар хүрээлэгдээ заавал ирнэ. Righteousness is going righteousness is going to invade. It's going to fall down. It's going to hit you. Зүгт байдал ирэх ч болно, зүгт байдал бидний цохиж авах ч болно, зүгт байдал бидний бүр үнгээр барьж авах ч болно. You're going to face the storm. You're going to get wet. You're going to be hit. You know there's no escape. Өөрөөр хэлбэл зүгтх газаргүй бөгөөд тэнд шуурах шуурна, салих салихсан, бороо орн, цахилгаан цахилсан тэнгэр дуурна. It will not it will not come. It will not come to some and then none the other or one will get it and the other won't get it. No, it will come to everyone. It's when the ants hun der irhku in pur in yurtunsin bugh orshin suugchid der gartsaagu irn zaashgu ys. The cloud and the thick darkness is approaching is coming. He's right inside there. He's behind that cloud and the thick darkness. Тэгэхээр хурлтсан үйл түнэр харанху ирж яваа бөгөөд харин тэрний ард тал You got, you got the point now. Do you see, do you see the poetry? Do you see, do you see the picture here? The here in that in in the heart, or in the bosom, I think, or is it his picture? It's just the heart, it's just. See, this is this is how the Old Testament men and women understood the nature of God's righteousness. It is not a choice. Ямар ч сонголт бол байхгүй. It's not an option. Бурхан энийгээ санасч байна. It's not about whether you prepare for it or you're ready for it. Oh God, I'm not too sure. 
Try telling the clouds in the darkness out there in the ocean, don't come for us. Let me go to the supermarket. Don't come to the land. Don't bring the tsunamis and the don't bring the tornadoes and the hurricanes. Don't come in. I haven't I haven't got marriage yet. I, have, I haven't built my house yet. I'm not, I'm not ready yet. I'm, I'm busy. I'm sure I'm growing up. I want, I want to migrate, you know, to Switzerland. So don't come now. I'm not prepared. Just hang on there. Do you see the language here? Do you see the, do you see the picture here? No, he's coming. And the sign is that the clouds in the dick darkness are now right before our very eyes. That's why Paul, Paul understood that righteousness is the power of God. Do you see that? That's the power of God. That is what saves you. That's the nature of your gospel. That's what the gospel looks like when it comes to man. That's how powerful it is. That's how forceful it is. That's how devastating it is. It's not about you. It's not about rearranging your finances and your family lives and your golf balls and your and your and your horse ridings. It's yes. the very foundation of God's throne. Pur porchni sinti nikhan zurgi chafchesti chetu tuetik. Got the point there? Righteousness has a godly behavior. God behaves. If you're you're now hearing this kind of a picture here in Psalm 97, it's it's because foundationally, that's who God is like inside him. So you see this now? The gospel has become something that makes us, you know, look docile and passive. We'll become, you know, sweet honeycombs. We'll become butterflies. Our gospel looks like God has come to make friends with you and tickle you so that, you know, he can be your boyfriend. It's here to give us candy and give us sweet. This is the picture of his righteousness here. Now you notice that from verse 3 to verse 6, the whole language that describes, look at, look at the way the language comes. Verse 3. Fire goes before him and burn up his adversaries all around. See that? See what happens when righteousness begins 
to break through crowds and darkness haan tegeer nog een ochtend harm goed was dat nog een hoes iets niet jara zoekt wij dat kaartje niet in jou als je ook dat in die zo when you break into that chief in Africa you cannot sleep with those 26 women haan nog een Afrikaan als je echt niet dacht dat je ja geen zoekt wij dat toen ruwing het niet zit als je ook dat je voor je dat je harm zo echt niet de negen zin rond dat je was kom bij dat je thuis You got the point now? Oh, it breaks it invades. You hear it sound with the wish that oh the tooth that no one gets near the church is who needs it to a finish. It's like fire. Yeah, it's classic. There's no human negotiation. There is no, you know, some mutual human understanding. Энд юурос хүний нийцэг ойлголт одоо та хүний хэмжээнд хэлэлцээл байж байдаг юм гэж юурсан байхгүй. Verse 4. За дөрөвдүгээр ичтэй. His lightnings light up the world. Түүний аянг цахилгаан ертөнцийг гэрэлтүүлдэг гэж. The earth sees and trembles. Газар дэлхий дэрийг нараа бүр салгнаж ширдэг. Verse 5. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of Yahweh, at the presence of the Lord of all the earth. Эдний өмнө бүх дэлхийн эдний өмнө уус яглааны тос шиг хайлан устдаг гэж. Verse 6. The heavens declares his righteousness. Тэнгэрүү түүний зүвт байдлыг тунх гэж. And all the peoples see his glory. Тэгээ бүх хүмүүс түүний цогч ахсан харна гэж. Харж байна гэж. Even a child who read scriptures like that have some almost clue to know what this looks like. Бар хүүхэдтэй яг энийг уншиж та дотор ер нь юуны тухай яриад байна гэд баг л таамаглал биш юм аа. The picture of relentless and unstoppable and un- uh, uncontrollable invasion. Энд чи ерөөсөөтэй бүр ингээд зогсоохын аргагүй бүр одоо няцаахын аргагүй нэг тийм асар том одоо одоо хүчч гэм юу ч гэх юм. Ерөөсөө ингээд орж ирээл хинээр ч захиргдахгүйгээр хинээр ч хяналтанд орохгүйгээр эзэлж авч байгаа зүг байгаа хадгаас тэ. Got the point now? For now it may be just oh god I don't understand the cloud and the darkness but the lightning and the thunder and the eminence and the appearance of it all it's coming. Тэгээ та хэлж болсон шүү дээ за өөс мөс тэр өтгөн харах үгийн бисээ ойлгохгүй гэтэл тэр цахилгаан цахилж байна тэр тэнгэр дуурж байна тэр одоо тэр салиг шуур одоо тэр одоо энд тэр гарч байгаа тэр галмаас яах аргагүй л гэдэм одоо яах боломжгүй хүч орж ирж байгаа юм биш үү гэж одоо хүн ойлгоно шүү дээ. That's why it seems that the Psalms 97 was actually wrote by what is known as post exilic in order to when Jews have a, have been taken out of Jerusalem into foreign countries. Тэгэхээр энэ дуулал ирэн долоо болохоор зэрэг Бабилонос одоо биш биш Иерусалимаас Бабилон руу авиачигдж байсан. Тэгээ еврейчүүдийн тийшээ одоо олцсон дээр шүү. These Jews are wait. These Jews have lost their homeland. Өөрөөрөө бас орон төрөх төрөл газар алдцсан. Lost Jerusalem. Иерусалимыг алдцсан. They've lost the temple. Өнгөө сүм дуун цалаг болсон. They've lost the priesthood. Тэд тахилчлаа хүртэл алдсан шүү дээ тэднэр. They've lost the prophets. Эсвэл зүйлч нэрэн чалгас. They're now in Babylon. Одоо тэгээ Бабилонд ингээ юу ч болсон. Хүрээд ирцэн. And this psalm is almost as if it was a warning. It was a uh, uh, it was a message to them. Тэгээ яг тэднэрт энэ дуусас өөрөө нэг тийм анхааруулах мэдээ шиг одоо ингээ өгдөж байгаа юм байна. Тэндэг шиг. What was to come? But the you is Jehovah Ikti. Now he says you're seeing the clouds and the thick darkness. Одоо та нар өтгөн харан хуйг бас одоо хурлцсан үүсий харж. Righteousness will break through. Харин тэр дундаас ч зүвт байдлаар ирсэн. Нэвтэд гараад ирсэн. And righteousness will be revealed. Юу зүвт байдал эзэрхийлэгдэх болсон, эзчлэгдэх болсон, харагдах болсон. And he came in the end. Тэр ирсэн угаас сайн Jesus was the revelation of the father's righteousness. Jesus Christ өөрө эцгийн одоо зүвт байдлыг нь зүвт байдлыг нь илчлэлт байсан, илэрхийлсэн байсан. No, it doesn't stop there. За ингээд зогсоогүй. There's the next set in Psalms 97. Дараагийн одоо хэсэг нь гарч ирсэн. It's given from 7 to the 9. 7, 8 and 9 of Psalm 97. Юс 8, хөвшөв шээ 7, 8 юс дээр дараагийн So you notice that the first set from verse 
from verse uh, 3 to verse 6. So all creation, all nature, all forces of nature is to make to stand to watch the coming of this righteousness. The word, the earth, they all trembles. The mountains, the hills, they will melt in the presence of the Lord. All of the fullness of nature is even made to respond in the coming of that righteousness. So from natural, that comes the spiritual. From the seed, to the unseen. Who are the unseen? Verse 7. For all those, let all those be ashamed who serve graven images, who boast of idols, worship in all you idols. These are spiritual forces. When God sees idols, it's not just a physical thing. He sees it is a spiritual power. It's a spiritual entity. Entity means it's uh, it's of a spiritual type. Alright, it's not just it's not just trees and plants and stones. Because when men worship these things, you don't worship the stones and rock and trees. You worship in the end the spirit that is extended from these rocks and trees and stones. That's why we give them names. Isn't it? We give them we give these idols names, these religion names. And anything that has a name has a personality. You know, in the Chinese mythology, there's a thing, there's a there's a image of a monkey. They call it, they, they call it the monkey god. I know of many Malaysian Chinese who go to the temple and they worship the monkey god. Sometimes when I'm praying for some of these these uh, the the people, you know, and they they start they're human, they're physical, physically like you and I, and they start actually behaving like monkeys. I had I had in the service I had a young man jumping, hopping from from one from one chair to another. I mean, humanly, you can't jump like that. Yeah, in the meeting. But when he came on the floor and he started to jump and he, and then he started scratching and doing monkey face. Like, can you imagine he folded he folded one of his legs and he used one leg and he could lift almost two over feet from one place to another. Like well, I was I was preaching. I have no time to chase monkeys. No, I. It was a, it was a 
a rehab center, a drug rehab center conference. Ah, the third night, sir, I'm going to go to you. Ah, you think you're going to be serious? I'm going to dump you. I'm going to get you to talk to you. Then you'll just become friends. A lot of these uh, newly converted Christians, so to speak, they're from they're from Christian rehab center. A lot of them were involved in the occult, and they were in temples and so on and so forth. Then you know, after conference, there is a room to sit and sit. Дүнгч дөрөөхөн сайхан л одоо тийм дамжилттай тийм хар тавьхын мансуудаг эсвэл тийм янзын бүрийн тийм сүнс мүс илдэд дээд юм та ороочдтой тийм хүмүүс ээж байгаа дүнгч аваарцсан баг. It took seven men to pin them down. Тэгээ тэр төгцөө дэсэн залуу барьж авахын тулд 7 эрэгтэй хүн одоо юу яасан гинэ. Later of course. Later when he was sober they asked him no what have, what have you been doing in the past? Тэгээ дараад нөгөө залуу ухаан орход хүмүүс асуу гинэ хүш. Half, half my life I followed my mother I was working in the temple I served in the Chinese temple I said which particular deity is in the monkey? Тэгээ нөгөө хүү ярьсан гинэ гэвэл би одоо том болох хөрцөө одоо өнөөдрийн хүү шүү дээ одоо ээжтэйгээ хамт тийм хятадын одоо сүнд явдаг байсан тэр нь болохоор нөгөө сармагчин бурханд мөрөгдөгсөн байсан. So we see when righteousness when righteousness begins to break in. Тэгэхээр сайн мэдээ ингэж одоо when righteousness зүгт байдал ингэж орж ирэхэд. When righteousness begin to be established. Зүгт байдал ингэж тогтоогдход. When the right when righteousness become a kingdom present. Зүгт байдал өөрөө яг хаанчилж засгалахад. That's when you know the kingdom is in the midst of God's people. Ийм юм болдог. Тийм учраас хаанчлаас түүний хүмүүсийн дунд байхстай. That's when you know that the kingdom is presiding in the church. Сүм дотор хаанчлаас өөрийнхөө эзэмшлийг тогтоодог. When is the church having the very authority of the kingdom? Хаанчлын бүр эрх мэдлийг сүм эзэмших хэрэгтэй болж байгаа. This when righteousness is present. Тэр түүний төлөө зүгт байдал нь оршдог юм аа. When righteousness is at work. Зүгт байдал ингэж ажилтдаг. When righteousness is making invasion and incision into our human personality into our human soul. Сайн гэж зүгт байдал ингэж хүний дотор хүний цаан чанар хүний яг хувь одоо байдал дотор нь ингэж ажилтдаг. He says that's why he says that uh, worship him all your gods. Энд хэлж чинь бүх бурхта түүнд мөргөж. So these spiritual entity these spiritual uh, beings have to be subjected. Өөрөөр тэр бүх одоо үйл үзэгдэх сүнсдэг ертөнцийн хүчнүүд бүгд түүнд захигдах хэрэгтэй. Verse 8. Нам дээр Zion heard this and was glad and the daughters of Judah rejoice. Сайн үүнийг сонсоод баярлаж Юдагийн охид тойлын таасан юм. How do you know that the gospel is really real in the people when they hear righteousness they rejoice? Sorry. How do you know that a people have truly received the gospel? Ha ya ginget humus jinkness sai mitig hule javj ga yaach mitig we. How do you know that a people have really understood the gospel? Sai mitig yaag jinkness ойлгоод авчих юм штэ эднэр гэж та яаж мэд. How do you know that a Christian people a church have truly understood and lived with the gospel? Христи сүм дотор сууж байгаа хүмүүс үнэхээр сай мэдээг яаж Байхстаар нь ойлгоод авсан гэж яаж мэдэх вэ? Every time when you hear righteousness you rejoice. Өөрөөр хэлбэл зөв байдал гэж сонсох хүртэл тэр хүмүүс яах нь? Тэгэлийн баярлаж байх мэт л одоо бүр тийшин ч тэмдэг нь. Every time when you hear righteousness is a joy. There is a thrill, there is an excitement and there is a lifting of your heart. Ерөөс зөвт байдал яригдаж байгаа ч бүр баярлж бүр зүрх сэтгэл нь бүр үнэхээр одоо бүр одоо хасаж овлдож байх юм. Got the point? I got you. Энэ шинж тэмдэг гарч ирж байна. So I've been told by some friends. Тэр нэг манай найснар ярьж исэн. And uh, not all the time. And that was the teacher who was the teacher in it. Sometimes. Hi yeah. Oh, do you know that you know past do you know why they don't invite you? I just heard that they wanted to invite you for the can of the conference. Do you know why they didn't want, want to invite you? I heard people talking about okay. not inviting me. Uh, so, so that's they come and tell me they actually wanted to invite you but ah they did the English they said that they did it they said we go we are not any stand we are not some people you always talk about holiness 
You know, we want to go to the camp, we want to play golf, we want to swim. And then after hearing your message, we cannot swim, we cannot play golf. <laughs> that's exactly what they said, actually. Why is it that we don't rejoice? Why are we fearful? Why are we backing away? Why are we sitting in our chair, squirming you know, in our chair? I was, I, was, I was in the service one day, there was a man way at the back sitting. It was, it took, it took him after about two, three weeks to approach me. I don't know him. He was he's a total stranger to me. But he was in the meeting. But it took him after two weeks of what I was I was teaching and preaching. And he came up to me. He said, Do you know that on the first on the first session? He said, I wanted to get up and come right in front of you and punch you. He said, I wanted, I wanted, I said, I couldn't take it no more. I want to get up and I want to punch you. She's a Christian, by the way. And I said, I want to get up and I want to But it was a Christian living very deeply in sin. I didn't know that, of course, later I knew. He said, he said that it was so powerful. He said, Do you know that? He said, I was getting up. He said, I could get up. So I said, why didn't you go get up? I couldn't get up. I kept, I kept crossing my legs. He said, I couldn't get up. He said, everything in me, he said, the anger that rose within me to come to beat you. And I don't even know him. And he doesn't know me. Because righteousness yeah, is now no longer behind the cloud and the darkness anymore. It's invading. It's it's sitting, it's permeating into human soul. Do you? Do you rejoice in righteousness? And he wonder, Jesus said, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. If your physical body has a natural appetite, All right? If your physical body has a natural appetite, God ensure that your spiritual body, your spiritual man, has a spiritual appetite. Our physical appetite varies between one and the other. But when it comes to the spiritual appetite, there is no variance. 
There is no one appetite different from the other. It's given to us in our spiritual appetite. There's only one food. There's only one drink. There's only one meat. And his righteousness. And his righteousness. Blessed are those that thirst and hunger, and hunger after righteousness. It becomes, it becomes a spiritual appetite. You see that? There's a flavor. You won't go back to the food if you don't like it. Isn't it? Yeah. I know what to order if I eat with Pastor Beggy. I know what he likes. Well, I think so. Or what he doesn't like. Because if you like, if you like it, you eat it. <laughs> lots of it. And not only lots of it, and you always like it again and again and again. So our natural appetite has that kind of a behavior. Has the gospel come to our life until it has tamed and certain and fixed our spiritual appetite? There's so many Christians today jumping from church to church. Teaching after teaching. Following, following one man and one woman and one ministry and this revival and that renewer and this uh, this uh, 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 this excitement and that excitement. No wonder we have, we're suffering from spiritual food poisoning. You're coming back to Mongolia with diarrhea. That's why we're weak. That's why we're immature. Got the point out? Huh? That's why our minds are never renewed. That's why our nature, our character is never built and never formed. We, we continue to be spiritual dwarfs, you know, dwarfs, you know, midgets. We never grow up. We're hopping from one place to another, one teaching to another, one man to another. Something is wrong. Something is wrong with your spiritual appetite. Do you see now the gospel, the nature of the gospel? It's demanding. Does it frighten you? Well, you should be frightened. The storm is coming. The lightning is there. The wind is blowing. You still don't see this? And he is there, close within the storm and the cloud and the darkness. It's righteousness. Oh. It closes in now, Psalms 97, it closes in the last three verses. Can you imagine, of course, in verse 9, 
It says, verse 9, before verse 10, it says, You are Yahweh, Most High, over all of the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. Listen. The book of Proverbs says that righteousness exalts a nation. So widespread. So defining. Is the righteousness of God. It exalts even a nation. Would it not even exalt a man? A woman? A son? A daughter? A father? A mother? A child? A family? It exalts a nation. That's what I told Africa. So the, the pastors in Africa. African pastors. The righteousness exalts a nation. Because so many of the churches in Africa has given to now what is known as, you know, rice bowl, rice bowl, rice bowl gospel. Rice bowl gospel. It's a gospel in which I can benefit out of it. It has everything to do with getting rich and getting more money because in the name of the gospel. I said, they will not exalt you. And any, any reason today why nations after nations in Africa comes under such torment, such disaster, such catastrophe. Like a pastor told me recently in Africa, is a gun and Africans can never separate. In other words, violence. Killing. War. Never lived that continent. I said, you can't find it in the nation. Can it be found in the church? And righteousness is not even found in the church. How can righteousness be found in a nation? It's not found even in your home as Christians, as pastors and leaders. How can it be found in our schools, in our in our education, in our government, in our institutions? And finally, it closes here in verse 10, 11, and 12. Hate evil, you who love Yahweh. Verse 10. I read again. Hate evil, you who love Yahweh. Nothing in the church. Nothing in the church tells us that we don't have righteousness like this, like this verse does. Nothing measure us truly whether we are the true church of Jesus Christ. And what is that? We have lost, listen, we've lost the ability to be angry over sin. I say again here, we have lost 
the ability who have lost the response in our anger towards sin. That is the sure test that something has gone wrong with our righteousness. There's something about the righteousness of God that is no longer prevailing, exalted, and pressing in the midst of God's people. When we don't respond to that, to a hatred, to an anger, to a disappointment, to an anguish of sin in in our, in our midst. Do you, do you see that? You see, somehow it's in our in, in our human minds. Oh, let's let me let me put this here to you. I want you to look once again in verse 8. The Jews understood it. He says that Zion heard this and was glad. And the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments, O Yahweh. Aha. Uh-huh. Um. Oh, it's a can you shoot to this What does that mean? You simply mean this. Whenever righteousness is present, judgment follows. The nature of righteousness is it judges. Because righteousness, judge. Righteousness, judgment is not punishment. Got the point? It, it judges you. So when can you shoot the walk? So when it's showing likes on you. Can they give it to something? It speaks to your conscience. Can you must channel so you get the flame up your conscience? Can you must channel it over and get brushed? Can you know on the inside that you have violated something? Ha, but doctor, be but yeah, how can you give me borrow it? Get the but all of such a thing are quite a bit. You have broken God's commandment. Ha, but can you do something to fix it? Get the mitt. You broke the heart of God. You came against his moral. You came against his moral integrity. That's judgment. We don't like judgment. Because all the time in our heads. We always think that judgment means that immediately the lightning will strike from the heaven and you'll be you'll be struck down and die. Oh, that comes too. That is when our disobedience mm-hmm. continue to persist. When we refuse to repent. When we're stubborn to the point that we don't turn around. Judgment comes to that. It, it has that end. It will bear that consequence. But the nature of judgment comes from righteousness. And when the righteousness of God presses into your heart, God begins to He begins to put pressure on you. That this is not his this is not his will. Now, now let this church amongst all of you here understand. You know, one of the misunderstandings with a lot of Christians is this. Now understand that when the scripture is clear, when the commandments of God are very clear, listen, you don't have to pray about it anymore. 
It is being taught by the apostles of Jesus Christ. Because when a Christian marries an un, a non-Christian is unequally yoked. What is a yoke? In the days of Israel, you have seen this in the olden days in Mongolia. Yo is when you put, you know, a, a long beam across the two cows. Alright? Because the yoke mm-hmm. is for the two cows that is that's on them so that they can walk in unison. Because the two cows are supposed to pull the cart. Because controlled by the master. And the stability of the entire cart lies on the yoke. And the so when the yoke is equally on both the cows, so when the master controls the, the cows, he actually controls the yoke. <laughs> so when the yoke is equally placed on both of the animal, then both of them function together. You got the point? Pull the yoke to the left. And put the yoke. And both the cows will turn. Left. Pull it right. They turn right. So you cannot have an unequal yoke. One yoke. For both the animals. Equal. Because if not, then the masters can't get the job done. So Christians, when, so when we look for our future husbands and our future wives, we look for those that are of the same yoke. We look for them for as the, for the with the same yoke, sorry. So meaning for the same beliefs. For the same Christ. For the same God. For the same God. Thank you. Do you understand that? So we told not to be unequally yoked. Because if you unequally yoke, you cannot bring Jesus into the center of your marriage and family. Because God has no more rights anymore. He wants the left. So the husband goes left. But the wife go right. So what do you do? Do you wash up? Come past the baggy. Baggy is atas. Come and counsel. A baggy the rear baggy. How do you counsel cow? Yeah, he did it. Putting on the wrong yoke. Boru boss on the rush. There's no counsel for cows and bulls with the wrong yoke. Because boru boss on baggy. Don't do it. I'm 35 years old. i I'm old. 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 I'm old.
Righteousness. You know this. Because it starts to press into your heart. That's what Paul says that the kingdom is not about food and drink. Romans chapter 14. He said, the kingdom of God is what? Righteousness. Peace. And joy. In the Holy Spirit. So when righteousness starts to reign. That's why peace follows. You're 35 years old. Can't find a husband, can't find a wife. But when the righteousness of God is in your heart, it leads you to peace. So you'll be peacefully 35. <laughs> You'll be a peacefully single man. You're peacefully a single woman. Oh, I want the job, girl. I want the I want to be the CEO of the company. They neglected me. They didn't give me the promotion. But don't bribe. Don't do bootlicking. Don't do all these things to get favors from your superior. Righteousness reigns in your heart. And that righteousness stay the peace of God in your heart, even if they didn't promote you. They bypass you. They purposely promoted someone lesser than you, or junior than you. Righteousness, peace. Amen. After peace come joy. How do you know righteousness and peace is ruling in our hearts? Joy follow. That's when your colleague sitting next to you, hey, they did this to you. Why is she... Why are you still okay? okay. okay. Let's go for lunch. You still, you still, you still joyful. You still peaceful. You still full of confidence. But they did this to you. Because you have been judged. When this thing happened, your heart was the first thing to be judged by righteousness. And that's why your emotions and everything in you didn't go any way where it didn't go any way that is negative. Yes. That's why because we don't understand righteousness. Because we fail in the understanding and exaltation of righteousness. We have now, listen, we have neglected the whole doctrine of judgment. We have forgotten the aspect of God's judgment in his character. And the presence of God's judgment in your conscience and in your heart prepares all of us to stand one day before the great judgment seat of God. 
шүүлтэй сэнтин өмнө бид нар яаж зогсох вэ гэдэгт битийг бэлдэж байт. That's why judgment has to begin now. Тийм учраас яг одоо зөвхөн чи шүүлт явагдчих гэж байна. Before that great judgment scene. Ирж яваа шүүл агуу сэнтин өмнө шүүлтэй сэнтин өмнө очихос. That's why our hatred for sin, our anger over sin. Бид нар тийм л учраас гим нүглийг үзэн ядаж гим нүглийг хараад бүр үнэхээр уурлах хэрэгтэй. It's truly the test. of the presence of righteousness in the church. Тэгэж чадчих л эвэл сүм одоо тэ зүвт байдлыг үнэхээр амсаад мэдцэн байна гэдгийг баталгаа. I want to say this too. Да бид ингэж хэлмээр байна. When a society have no when a society no longer react in anger over sin, it is time that that society will come under judgment. Нийгэм хэц одоо тэ гим нүглийг хараад уурлахаа болоод боор ингээ эвлэрхэд энэ нь юу гэж хэлдэг вэ хэр энэ үндсэн дээр шүүлт ирэх юм байна гэдэг хэлдэг. When President Biden recently told all the American people on television. Телевизээр нөгөө Америк ерөнхийлөгч Байден Америкчууд тандаж ингэж хэлсэн гинэ сайхан. Encouraging all the young ones in the family that if you want a sex change the government is behind you. We are here to support you all the way. To change the sex. To change the sex. I think it's just something that I think is 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 to become a female we help you we change we help you we support you we're behind you who is this hellus marena get awech the hilchitchin titter dorgoza dev ugu mana zisgin gazar namag hamgaalch baga gej taatulta hilere gej bur u hilsen gine bid nar taanrig dimjig bolon bid nar taani taanrig in tal dev chin taltchin sos and as god's people if we don't know how to react to a to an anguish and to an anger here bid nar burkhni humus enend Идүүтч уурлж чадхаа болсон бол that society in нийгэм has come under judgment. Гарцааг шүлтэн дор. Any reason today why that nation is where she is today? Тэм учраас тэр үндэс тэр өнөөдөр ийм байдалд ийм нөхцөлд орчоод байгаа юм аа. A wonderful has God bless us with the gospel. Бурхан бидний ингэж сайн мэдээгээр юурсэн this time is the gospel that saves you to the end. Эцсийн эцэс үртэл бидний аврах сайн мэдээ бол энэ юм. Amen. Lord we thank you. Эцэн мэнэ тэнд талархаж байна. How we rejoice. Бид нар баярлчих байна. What you have granted to us. Let's stand shall we? Зүгээр бас ийм тийм ээ. Та таны бидэнд өгсөний харах. We receive it from you. Таньаса хүлээж авч байна. We thank you. Тэнд талархаж. My God raise up a people here. Бурхан мэн та энд хүмүүсийг бүр босч байна. Өөрийнхөө нэрийг for your name say. Өөрийнхөө нэрийг төлөө. The church. That will be faithful to your gospel. Таны сайн мэдээнд үнэлж сүмэн. All time. Сүхий цаг үеийн four days. Сүхий дүрүүдийн төлөө. For the years to come. Ирж яваа бүхэл он жилэг дээр. Raise up a testimony here for yourself. Үнэлж байдаг тэр сүмийг гэрчлэгч нар яваа. Confirm your word in our hearts. Би хий зүрхэн дүгээ баталгаажж болох. Continue to speak to us. Би хий зүрхэн үргэлж төрлөө яриач. By your spirit. Өөрийнхөө сүнсээр. We bless you. Таныга юрөөж байна. We worship you. Мөргөж байна таныга. We thank you. In Jesus name. Jesus in your area. Amen. 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 Бүх сонссон сүнс бүр зэрэгж зүр бүрэн төрөх болтойгоо. Амин. Тэгээ бусны алдар үргэлж надтай хамт байж ээж тэр алдар шиг цаг ирсэн гэдэг. Би таны өөртөө хүлээж аваас айж болчих. Таны амьдралд дээр бүх зүйл юу бусны үргэлжлэх болоо. Та баяртай байна уу? Яагаад зүрт байдлыг эхлээ бид нэг чигээтэй болт юм гээд би тэнд нэг зүйл хэлье. Хин нэг нь таны цаас өссөн ямар сайхан байдаг та бид зүтсэн амьдралда. Хин нэг миний тал өссөн. Таныг тэмээ мөрөгөөгийн зөвшдөө хийж байгаа хин нэг нь таны тал баг та ямар аж ахалтай ямар ирчлээтэй ямар ирчүүчтэй байдаг вэ? Энэ л зүрт байдал юм аа. Энэ таны тал байна гэдэг нь гайсан. Бохон таны тал танд таардаг. Амин. Айлаа.